The Saints started Saturday with five draft picks and no trades under their belt, which is kind of unusual for the Saints. Usually they do trade up in drafts. Over the last 16 drafts, they've traded up 24 times. The Saints definitely did that on day three of the NFL draft as they traded three total times on Saturday. The very first trade got them to the very first pick in round four. And with that pick, they took Old Dominion offensive lineman Nick Saldaveri. And Saldaveri is a guy who can play the guard position, give them some depth at that, at that position for the Saints. Remember that you've got uh, Cesar Ruiz and Andrews Pete on the final years of their deal. So they probably need some, uh, some insurances back there at the guard position. The Saints traded back into the fourth round to take a quarterback in Jake Hayner from Fresno State. Quarterback was an area of need in a sense that even though they've already signed Derek Carr and they had Jameis Winston as the backup, they still would like to develop a quarterback in this system. And Jake Hayner is a guy 5'11", size, but is a guy that showed some toughness and can make the throws that are necessary to play in the NFL when he was at Fresno State. No trades in the fifth round as they took a safety in Jordan Howden. And then they traded in the sixth round. And this was really interesting because in the sixth round, they took a wide receiver in A.T. Perry from Wake Forest. To get that back in the sixth round, they ended up trading tight end Adam Troutman to Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos. Now, Adam Troutman was originally a third round pick out of Dayton. But Troutman really hasn't lived up to the billing of that third round here in the last two seasons for the New Orleans Saints. And Dennis Allen afterwards said that, they do, as, uh, after, as they do like Adam Troutman, they felt like they, was, uh, and they were in a position to go ahead and trade him in order to get a wide receiver in A.T. Perry because wide receiver was a definite need for the Saints, especially because of Mike Thomas's health status moving forward, even though he's expected to return to this lineup. But just to give another weapon for Derek Carr in this offense, and A.T. Perry certainly is that weapon. Last season in 13 games, he scored 11 touchdowns. He's six three and a half. A big, rangy receiver made a bunch of plays for the Demon Deacons this past season in the ACC. So they do get their playmaker at wide receiver. And if you look collectively at the Saints, who ended up making four, tra uh, four picks on Saturday, seven overall, you like what the Saints did in terms of addressing the needs that they had to address. Defensive line, they were able to do that. Defensive tackle and at edge rusher, they needed a defensive end, especially with Cam Jordan getting an age and really just having a second wide, a second defensive end to go alongside Cam Jordan in rushing quarterbacks uh, throughout the NFL. They also address the offensive line. They address getting a quarterback. They address getting a wide receiver and a safety. The tight end position, of course, is going to be the big question moving forward. Now that Andrew Troutman is a Denver Bronco, you could see them dipping into the free agency pool to bring in a tight end. Also, don't uh, also expect to see a tight end drafted when they start looking at undrafted free agents. That's the next step for the Saints as they look for those UDFAs. Remember, the Saints have struck gold in that arena the last few seasons, finding guys like Rashid Shahid, uh, Juwan Johnson, who they recently signed to a new three-year deal at tight end. They're really good at doing uh, finding those uh, diamonds in the rough in the undrafted free agent market. We'll see if they do that. But the Saints ending up with their draft class with seven players and filling needs that they had to address moving in to the ne into next season.